Alright, this is just a uh, another video on how to remove other spyware and adware from your computer. So what I'm going to do is use a little program called Hijack This and you can get it just by opening up your browser. And head over to www.hijack this, just as it sounds, not .com, but .de, and then just hit enter. And the reason for the .de, because uh, it looks like it's probably a, a Dutch website. And what we need to do is, at the top right here, there's a link that says direct download. Go ahead and click on that to download this uh, hijack this software. And when it asks you to save, uh, do you want to open or save the file? Just hit save. And you can just put it on your desktop. And then just close this little window. And I'm just going to shrink down the browser here. And I'm going to right click on the file that we just downloaded, hijack this underscore 199. And the 199 is just the version number. Anyway, I'm just going to right click on the folder and do extract to hijack this underscore 199. And it's just going to create a, a folder. And just double click this folder. And I'm going to decrease the size of this window and I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this over to my desktop and I'm going to actually hit shift so it just takes it out of this folder then we close this folder and now I can just delete these two files here so I'm just drag them into my recycling bin and maybe I'll just empty it too and now what we need to do is open hijack this so double click on the hijack this icon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a system scan only if you wanted to save a log file you can click the button above so just the second button down go ahead and click that and it's gonna scan your computer and uh, it's gonna show the results of the scan and what we want to do is just click on save log and I'm just going to name it hijack this just like that I'm going to save it to my desktop and now what I need to do is just go ahead to an edit select all or control A and edit copy and now I'm going to open up my browser again to hijack this.de and if you scroll down here you can paste in your log file directly from hijack this or if you wanted to you could just click on browse and select the hijack this log file and click open but I'm just gonna paste in the log file just uh, right click and do a paste and I'm gonna scroll down and click on analyze and what comes up here are the lists of all the entries in your log file and to the right in the second column or I guess it's the third column here um, it shows the uh, whether this entry is safe or isn't safe so if we scroll down here let's go take a look at a few things obviously the system files here and a McAfee hacker watch file those are all safe this one is McAfee uh, the the virus scan itself and it shows a a safe shield icon there that's actually a good icon and down here it looks like there are a few X's if I put the mouse over this X, it says unnecessarily. 
This X says nasty. That's a safe one. And this one also says nasty. Scroll down a bit more. Here are two unnecessary icons here. And that's it. So I'm going to scroll back up. Here's one. Here's a Camtasia Studio. That's actually what I'm using right now to record this video. And it just has a question mark because it's not sure what this process is because it's not in their database. But let's look at this first one. This first entry is a, says it's a BHO. There's no file. So it looks like this is an unnecessary or an unknown application and it's unnecessary because it's deactivated and that entry can be fixed. So we could use hijack this to delete that entry. Though, you know, it's not really ex that necessary to delete it, but we don't need it. And here's another one. This is a BHO, it says, and ALXTB, which is actually the Alexa toolbar. And it says it must be fixed. However, I know that these files go with the Alexa toolbar, and this really isn't something that needs to be removed. So even if it has an X, doesn't mean that you should go ahead and remove it. Alexa does uh, monitor certain things that you type into the toolbar, and let me just show you what Alexa is. I'm just going to right click here and choose Alexa. And right here is the Alexa toolbar. So it shows a little bit of information about this site. And it's sending my information saying that I visited the site and therefore I'm a visitor and it might increase this rank a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that toolbar. Here's another one. But that too says it's Alexa toolbar, and that's fine. I don't want to delete anything that has to do with Alexa toolbar. However, if you did have any spyware or other adware, it would show up here with an X or a question mark if that specific file has never been detected by uh, the, any, any users and hasn't been added to the database here. So that's what I wanted to show you, and it's really easy to be able to find out what each of these entries mean. So that's it.